guys at Citizen have asked us to pop down to Ander in Haven in Hampshire. It's a great, great machine shop making air, well, aircraft parts. Owen, first of all, can you tell me about the company, please? Yeah, well, the company's been established almost 25 years. Um, we started um, manufacturing a long time ago, subcontracting CNC components. And it was my dad's company that back then. And then when um, my dad started building an, an aircraft, it was an aircraft kit, he um, noticed some of the components in the aircraft and um, wasn't very satisfied with them right. and thought he could do a better job. So like any good engineer, he just went out and made his own, own parts? Exactly, yeah, exactly. But, but this is the fuel systems for the aircraft? Well, yeah, what, what we, what, our first product was a fuel selector switch. So, so the typical aircraft we are supplying are small two-seater low wing, oh, sorry, two, small two-seater aircraft, single engine. But so you're manufacturing these fuel parts. You've got how many Citizen machines now? We've got five. five so yeah. obviously huge fans. Why are you such huge fans of Citizen? Well, well Citizen Miano. Citizen Miano, they, they're fantastic. They, we, we, we bought two Mianos um, back in um, 15 years ago. And the first one, it, 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 was, it came into place, um, it was our first sub-spindle machine. It came replacing a non-sub-spindle machine. Uh, a, a beautiful machine, it was an old Vecino, um, but, and it was so fast, and the sub-spindle meant that we could finish the part in one go, and straight away I bought another one. It was so, so fast, so accurate, and, and the guys up at Miano, they were fantastic, helped us get the machine going because it was quite new for us, that sort of technology. So they gave you that, like I say, new, new to you, so they gave you that full support. It's always key to, you know, buying a machine, but how to use it and the service and things like that. Yeah, exactly. You know, we, we, um, we needed help in those days because, you know, we, 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 um, we're not the most cleverest guys, but we try hard, you know. Well, you're hiding, hiding your sort of light under a bushel there. We'll come to that in a minute with the components. Though. So you're happy to take sort of leaps in terms of the technology you're using. Now, this is your latest machine, and let's get this right. It's the Miano ABX 64SY2, which is right here. So twin spindle, twin turret? Exactly, yeah. So, so it's, it's, it's our first twin turret machine. Um, so what it's got, it's got Y-axis on both turrets. Yep. It's got 64 mil bar capacity. It's got driven tools and powerful driven tools as well on every single station. So 12 tools on each turret? Yeah. Okay. And then really, really powerful. So what, do you know what power it goes to? It's 40, 40, 40 newton meters, meters yeah. yeah so with that, you've got your twin spindles. So can you do your balance turning? Yeah, so we do, we, depending on what the part is, we do a range of balance turning. So that's both turrets machining together on the, on the main spindle. Yeah. Sometimes we do it on the sub-spindle as well. Um, we also do um, turning and grooving on the main spindle simultaneously. Um, we can do milling um, of two faces of the side at, at the same time. Right. So one part, I'd be dr I can be drilling a hole and milling something yeah. um, at the same time on the, on the main spindle. And then similarly, I can be machining on the main spindle and machining on the sub spindle simultaneously. Right. So essentially, you massive reductions in cycle time. Yeah, it, it's. I mean, f from where we were, yeah. as you know, a, a, a single turret sub spindle machine is pretty much half the cycle time because yeah. this fast as well. The, yeah. the rapids are fast, a lot even faster than the, than our first Mianos. and that which is surprising because it's such a big machine. Yeah, okay. you know, when you say big machines, very rigid though as well. Powerful, yeah, rigid. It, it weighs a lot and it, it just holds size all day long. Okay, so in terms of holding the size and got that, there's no problem with the thermal growth. Well, it's got thermal compensation built in. Okay, so yeah. it keeps it nice and simple for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, in terms of the bar, so it's a fixed, a fixed head lay taking 64 mil diameter, but you sometimes stretch it a bit further. Yes, we do. Well, you see, we we have designed parts that are bigger. So we've got um, a bar, uh, sorry, a, a chuck, a three-jawed chuck unit, Heimbach three-jawed chuck unit. Um, but um, 
Yeah, we, 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 and then what we do is we manufacture or we, we make, um, say, five parts per billet. And then, and then the sub spindle will come down to, to um, pick up that part. And as it gets shorter, it, obviously the code compensates for, for that. So you mentioned code here. So in terms of control, what control are you using? Um, we're using FANUC. On all of the five machines, we've got FANUC control. Okay. Interesting, because um, someone has mentioned to me about Mitsubishi, but, and, but you, you st stuck with the FANUC all the time? Yeah, well, you see, um, because we've stayed with Fan FANUC all the time, it seemed, makes sense to keep with that. Gives you that flexibility. Okay, so, I mean, you've covered off here in terms of your power. What sort of accuracy? Well, we, we are, are generally trying to keep within 10, 15 microns. Yeah, okay, because you're, I mean, essentially you're making aerospace parts, so you've got to be really, really accurate and high quality, high precision, is that right? Yes, exactly, yeah. Okay, so we've talked about the power, the accuracy, controls, FANUC, so simple control processes. I want to actually put you to test here, and I want to see some of your components, so okay, yeah. let's have a look. Uh, yeah, well, this is a, um, this is a filter body. Okay. Now, the majority of your parts, aluminium, is that right? Yes, aluminium, yeah. Okay. Now, excuse my ignorance here, but that, in it, looking at that externally, doesn't look too complicated, so, you know, you finish off the surface there, external threading, bit of milling, a um, bit of um, tapping, drilling there, sorry, but it's the internal part that's sort of really impressive. Yeah, well, it's, you know, tr trying to keep the weight down as much as possible. Yeah. We, um, we bore that out with, for quite a thin wall there. Yeah, because that's what, about one mil all the way down? Yeah, yeah, all the way down, yeah. So, um, and um, O-ring groove in there for right. sealing, th okay. threaded. So, so, to, so to keep the accuracy, you need a real premium machine, which is what you've got here then? Yeah, okay. so. And then the next bit, and the, can I say the most impressive, they're all impressive, but this, this part here, now so this is, can you show me the, the before? Because that's actually yeah. three components, is that right? Yeah, so, so when, when we designed the pump initially, um, we designed it with the um, Miano BND42 S5, which is our, what, our two first machines yeah. in mind. Now, it has got 42 mil bar capacity, but it's got a 32 mil uh, maximum capacity on the sub-spindle, okay? So, so these parts were designed for the capability of the machine. So 42 mil, or at least it's, you know, it gets turned a little bit down, and then we can hold it on this diameter on the sub-spindle. So we, we had to design it like this because of the way the machine what the you know the limitation although they're fantastic machines yeah we, you know we had we it's only the limitation had the bar diameter yeah, exactly, really not yeah. the limitation of the machine exactly so so it, it had to be made in three parts okay then um then when um and this is another reason why i bought this machine is because um we, we could see we could see that with this machine we could now manufacture this same oh, so these three parts all, all they, go together so all that, sealed all part of the end the fuel system in an in aircraft so, so th this is a paramount standard. that it doesn't fail right so three parts now this so, yeah. your new machine so, the 64 yeah. syy2 enables you to do it in two parts no, this is one, one part all oh, right so massive finish. reduction in cycle times yeah. yeah i mean the previously we were probably talking about 20 minutes yeah. and the, not only that but anodizing three parts yeah. Yeah. The, then the, the screws and the o-rings and the risk of leaking in between yeah. and the assembly time I, suppose, I mean aircraft part failure you know not that it ever happens but if you've got three parts where it is all one part one part yeah and we saved a little bit of weight as well because yeah. obviously you know we're losing the screws um, and we've reduced the cycle time as well because we can manufacture the the front and the back at the same time, because it's twin spindle, twin yeah. turrets. Okay, so I'm gonna throw a few quick points, just to summarize, I mean, great endorsement of the, of the Milano's, the, the components you're making, so powerful. Pow very powerful, yeah. yeah. So you've got five Citizens? Five, yeah. yeah. I suppose, endorsement for Citizen Milano, would you buy another one? I, I'm, I will plan on it, yeah. It's, I don't know which, yes. The, basically, the answer to the question is yes. Yeah. Just which one? Yeah, which one, yeah. Okay. yeah. Owen, fantastic company, and air down in Haven, and fantastic machines. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, God.